Hey guys, Tom here with CellPhoneTrek.com. Today we have the review of the Sharp FX. The Sharp FX is for the AT&T market. It's been out a little while, sorry we haven't gotten to this. We just kind of skipped over this phone. Decided to play catch up and get a review out for you. Um, so it's a text messaging heavy phone. It is not a Sidekick phone. It's not made by Sidekick. It was. It's completely developed by Sharp. Uh, it does look like one, but it's not. So it's a, uh, what I would consider a multimedia phone. It's touch screen, it's heavy for text messaging, it's great, but I wouldn't really consider it a smartphone. So let's get to the review and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Before we do that, Cell Phone Trek is on Facebook and Twitter, at Cell Phone Trek on Twitter. Follow our tweets there and also on Facebook, Cell Phone Trek, T-R-E-K. Find us there, like us and follow us and we will You'll, by doing that, you'll be privy to all our free giveaway information that we have. So let's get to this review. All right, here's the device. Um, three inch capacitive display. Uh, speaker up here, accept call, end call, back button. On the left hand side, you have volume rocker bar, your micro USB charging port, your 3.5 millimeter headset jack. On the back, you have a two megapixel camera. It's uh, immobile, it doesn't have um, flash, uh, a flash next to it either, so that's a little disappointing. Here's your lock button, dedicated camera key. Uh, this is a, a hole for your lanyard to go through. And that's about it. And the full QWERTY keyboard. So, it's pretty nice. Open this back. Here's the home screen. You have this dedicated button down here for calling, contacts. This is for social media for AT&T and this is for applications. Uh, overall call quality was pretty decent. They could definitely tell I was on a cell phone uh, and when driving and being outside, people could hear a lot of background noise. So I was a little disappointed with that. Yeah. Awful, awful lock screen, by the way. And um, we'll go ahead and just show you, bring it out like this, it brings you into, uh, different, brings up six different menus. By doing so, you have access to your instant messaging, mobile email, uh, available at extra cost through AT&T. You also have your social net and your inbox. Inbox is nice, basically gives you it's your text messaging inbox. Creating a new email is pretty nice, give you an idea what it's like. First off, you type your message. Then you go ahead and pick your contact or contacts. Um, typing on here was okay. How, oops, are you doing? And then question mark, uh, you have to hit this stupid function key and like that. So I'm not very happy with that aspect of it. Plus, all around here on the sides and along the top, it's very difficult to get your fingers in here just because this screen is a little too close. Uh, for comfort, you can add media. You can image or video that you've taken. You can go ahead and options. You can add symbols, emoticon. Uh, you can add contacts in here. Maybe someone needs somebody's phone number. You can throw a contact in there. And you can send it. And then to send it, you need a, obviously a contact. Adding a contact is pretty simple. If you know the number by heart, you just type it in, such as, you know, 407 555 5555. That's a real number. Anyways, or you can hit contacts and search through all your list of contacts. It's real nice. Some people like um, for them to have an auto scroll. Some people like the auto scroll where you hit it and it just goes, but. If you just go ahead and just drag it, it's much easier. Or you can have the convenient search. Let's say, um, uh, let's see, search for AT&T. Since they've got AT&T, whoops, uh, branded things. Here's all the AT&T branded information. But overall, as long as you can, you have smaller fingers, uh, text messaging in here is very, very easy. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and exit out of this. We're not gonna save that. Oops, I did save it. Instant messaging is available through different clients. It is available at extra cost through AT&T. So 
so that's a little disappointing. But you have AIM, um, Messenger, and Yahoo. That's uh, MSN. And you just pick which one you want. You can pick all of them, you hit OK. But we're not going to do that. Mobile web browsing was a little disappointing. It was kind of slow because it's not a smartphone. It's just a full feature phone. It's great if you're looking up maybe like CNN.com mobile version or um, you know one of the bigger sites. Uh, you can you know comes with Yahoo search. In here you can actually type in something. So we'll do eh. we'll do Android Trek. Dot com actually finishes it for you. Once you hit dot, it'll actually try to add the com to it for you if you'd like. It does have a dedicated Facebook app. It does. It is a, weighs five ounces. It has a the screen is a three inch capacitive touch screen. If I haven't no, talked to you about that, it's a resolution of 240 by 400 makes it WQVGA. And uh, when text messaging, it is a th uh, threaded text message style. So that might answer some of your questions before you guys start talking about it here. So here we are. Came up fairly decent. Now this we don't. This is not a mobile site. But you can tell that you'll be able to go through and read some different things. Let's see here. So it doesn't seem to be, definitely needs a mobile version to operate or it's trying to turn our site into a mobile version, which is not the best way. for a device to operate. But besides that, it's fairly decent. It is on AT&T's network. We'll get out of here. Besides decent call quality and decent text messaging, there's not a lot of extra to this phone that I would recommend to you. Touchscreen was real hit or miss. Sometimes you tap something and it worked, sometimes you didn't. Those are just the experiences that I had. Yours might be different. Again, my name's Tom. This was the Sharp FX for AT&T. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter, at Cell Phone Trek on Twitter and Cell Phone Trek, T-R-E-K on Facebook. Follow us there as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you have yourself a great day.